Hello everyone, so our today's topic is productivity. Productivity is defined as the ratio of the output and input of the any given system. So for the better understanding of the productivity, let us see an example. So let us see this example. Following data of a certain XYZ company is given. Uh, good produce uh, for the year 2005 and 2006 that is given other incomes. Uh, of the company that is given for the good years the deflector for the other income is given and the input that are supplied that is labor material power and other expenses are given in here the value of other expenses that uh, applied as an input by the company is given and the deflector for the other expenses is given now we have to calculate the productivity indices for labor, material, power and other expenses individually and then we have to calculate the total productivity of the company for the year 2006. Solution Now first of all differentiate the output factor and the input factor. So in this question the output factors are that is first good produce. And the second output factor that is other incomes. Now the input factors are the first input factor is labor, second is material, third is power and fourth is other expenses now we have to do the calculation for 2006 assuming the 2005 as a base period Therefore, first of all, outputs. Now, first of all, we have to calculate the output for the 2006, assuming the 2005 as a base period. Therefore, deflector for goods produced. that is equal to current price here divided by base price here the current price here is 1700 and the base price here is 1500 therefore 1500 therefore deflector is equal to 1.13 Therefore, total output is equal to 3200 into 1700 divided by deflector for this deflector for the uh, first unit that is good produce we calculate 1.13 plus and the other output is other income for this we calculate 29,000 into the deflector for the second unit that is 1.12 is given and we for the base here 1 is already given therefore we are right 1.12 therefore total output is equal to 484005 2.14 this is the total output produced by the company in 2006. Now we have to calculate the input values. Therefore, first of all, we have to calculate the deflector for the labor. 
deflector for labor is equal to current price year upon base price year therefore the current price year for the labor rate is 80 and the base price year it is 75 therefore 80 0.06 therefore labor input is equal to 10,000 into 80 divided by deflector that is 1.06 therefore it is equal to total labor input that is 7547166 Similarly, we have to calculate the material input, power input and other expenses input. Therefore, for material input, first of all, we have to calculate the deflector for this. Therefore, deflector is equal to current price value and base price value. Therefore, the current price value for the material that is 2000 and the base price value that is 1800. It is 2000 and 1800 therefore it is equals to 1.11 now material input is equal to 25 into 2000 divided by 1.11 it is equal to 450.5 now we have to calculate the input for the power for this we required the deflectors for the latest year therefore deflector for deflector is equal to 4.2 divided by the rate of power of previous year that is 3.2 therefore it is equal to 1.31 now Power input is equal to 2700 into 4.2 divided by 1.31 and that is 8656.48. Now we have to calculate the input for the other expenses. The deflector for the other expenses is already given to us, that is 1.3. Therefore, other expenses input is equal to 25000 divided by 1.3 so here deflector for the other expenses is directly given so we don't have to calculate the deflector separately for this we just have to divide the other expenses value with the deflector Therefore, other expenses input is equal to 19230.76. Okay, now we had calculated the total output get by the company and the total input supply by the company. Now we have to calculate the productivity indices for labor, productivity indices for material, productivity indices for power, and productivity indices for other expenses and finally then we have to calculate the total productivity of the company for the year 2006 so let's see now first labor productivity it is equal to total output divided by labor input that is equal to therefore the total output is 4840052.14 divided by the labor input is that is 7547161998 therefore labor productivity is equal to 6.41 second 
material productivity is equal to total output divided by material input therefore the total output is this and the material input is here we calculated therefore the material input is 450.15.14 therefore material productivity is equal to 107.44 power productivity it is equal to output divided by Power input that is equal to output is C that is four eight four zero zero five two point one four divided by the power input here we calculated eight six five six point four eight. Therefore power productivity is equal to five five nine point one two. Now lastly, we have to calculate other expenses productivity. Output divided by other expenses input. divided by other expenses input that is 19230.76 therefore other expenses productivity is equal to 251.68 now we calculate the all the productivity indices for labor material power and other expenses individually now we have to calculate the total productivity of the company therefore total productivity is equal to total output divided by total input therefore total output is equal to Four eight four zero zero five two point one four. Now the total input is the sum of the labor input, material input, power input, and other input. Therefore, seven five four seven one six point nine eight plus four five zero four five point one four plus eight six five six point four eight plus Nine two three zero point seven six. Now the total productivity. Total productivity is equal to by calculating this, we get five point eight four. Now in this way we calculate the productivity indices individually for labor, material, power and other expenses and total productivity for the year 2006 assuming the 2005 as a base year. And hence we get the total productivity of the company it is 5.84. So thank you for the watching the video. If you like the video please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.